My name is Billy Allen. I'm from Fallbrook, California, and I play on the AVP. So I grew up playing beach volleyball. Um, it was kind of our family sport. Every Sunday we'd drive to Oceanside and hang out all day long, go in the ocean. The adults would play and the kids would kind of just interfere. But over time, I got in there and was peppering with my dad, got a little bit better. And my first big memory of playing was I was 10 years old and we played in a tournament together, my dad and I. And basically all I had to do was serve the ball on the court and he took care of the rest. And if I didn't make my serve, I got yelled at a little bit, um, but it was, fun just to be beating adults and uh, be doing it with my dad and that's kind of where I fell in love and realized that uh, hey I could be pretty good at this. A uh, piece of advice I give my younger self, there's a lot of advice I tell them, but I think the big one and the one I share with a lot of younger players is just to commit. I think when I first started I played a lot but it wasn't like I was trying to be a professional beach volleyball player. I liked the sport, um, maybe I didn't think it was possible and I kind of just played, but I think I was risk averse when it came to spending money on coaching, spending money on traveling to events, and kind of just played with who I was comfortable playing with. And I think uh, it's really hard to move up in the ranks when those top players, this is their full-time job, and they have coaches, they have trainers, they're watching video, this is how they spend their day. And so I think I tell myself the best way to become a professional is to act like you already are, and just to treat it like your, your job. And I think uh, that's the way to, to move up. Uh, more advice I'd tell my younger self would be not to take the losses so hard. There's going to be a, it's a long career. There's going to be good wins and plenty of losses. Um, don't be so hard on yourself. Just keep learning and keep fighting. Also, learn to play in a hat. I think it saves the forehead a little bit. I remember I got lucky enough a few times uh, Sean Scott, for whatever reason, would invite me to some practices, even if it was just as a hitting dummy and to a hitting against him and his partners. Um, it just makes you better and you get to see the high level that these players had. And also, usually they have a coach, so you can kind of like steal some of their, their input that they're giving their players. Um, so I would definitely take advantage of using your phone and calling people, being vocal, bug them, get them to practice with you. And the same thing with finding partnerships. Um, don't just go with your buddy who you're comfortable with. I tell myself, uh, you know, go after those top players. Also, if I could tell myself, like, hey, this is going to be your career, you're going to be a professional beach volleyball player, I probably wouldn't believe myself. Um, but if I would just really state the fact that it's a really cool lifestyle and it's hard and there's tough losses and maybe the money is not amazing, but you get to do some really cool things. You'll meet your wife playing, so stick with it. And um, it's worth it. It's worth having maybe not the nicest mansion on the beach, but you get to be at the beach and train, so that's the trade-off.